welcome to Mint. I am Amrit Raj. In today's edition of From the Newsroom, we are joined by Ruchira Singh. Welcome to the show, Ruchira. Thank you. We are here to talk about Coal India Limited's fuel policy, where its board of directors is objecting to a move made by the management. Ruchira, can you tell us about the story and what are the objections raised by the board out here? Yes, this actually concerns the fuel supply agreements, which uh, which this company is formulating right now. Uh, they are going to offer this policy to uh, power producers right. and this actually offers them a guaranteed supply of coal over X number of years. Uh, it's extremely crucial for these power companies and of course for the industrial growth of the nation. Uh, so, uh, so, there's, uh, so this uh, policy is being formulated right now and uh, what has really happened yesterday is that seven independent uh, board of directors have written to the chairman of Coal India and they have said that in the last minutes, three words have got into the minutes uh, from that meeting, and those three words are power trading companies. Uh, now, these uh, independent board of directors fear that uh, through this route, uh, some power producers might actually uh, uh, entitle themselves to these FSAs. Um, simply speaking, that means uh, that uh, these directors do not want power companies to take cheap coal from Coal India produce power and then sell it at market rates which are very high. So this is their primary fear and they have written to the chairman and they have asked him to get it examined legally and uh, from a vigilance point of view. Uh, so this is the latest development uh, in this uh, right. policy. Uh, Ruchira, tell us something, you know, the move comes at a time when uh, there has been a lot of controversies uh, around, around the coal scam. So is it like the, for the first time uh, Coal India Board is basically objecting to management's decision or it has been, it's been going there uh, for quite some time now? Uh, yes, it's been happening for some time now. Uh, if you remember, in April, um, uh, the government of India had to uh, give a presidential directive to this company. And in that, they had ordered Coal India to sign FSAs with power producers because there's an acute shortage of coal. Power companies need the power to produce and to supply to the rest of the industry. Uh, so s since that time, in the last um, six months or so, these independent directors of uh, this company have been time and again objecting to every step. And you really have to see it in the wider context of what's going on in the country. It's the coal scam. It's the CAG report that has alleged, um, you know, an untransparent way of giving away coal blocks. So these independent board of directors um, are being extremely cautious. They're being extremely jittery about every single move. They're questioning the company. They're questioning the management. Uh, so that's what's uh, been happening right now. So uh, how long will it take to resolve the issue and what is the way forward? Well, it just looks like uh, the, this uh, policy, uh, FSAs, um, uh, this might take some more uh, time uh, to actually get uh, finalized and offered to power producers. Power producers are in a great hurry because a lot of them have invested in power plants. And uh, uh, starting from uh, next year until uh, uh, 2017, a lot of these companies have to come on stream and start producing. They're all asking, where is the coal? Where is our agreement with Coal India? So they are a worried lot. Uh, now, but uh, uh, Coal India's directors, of course, have to safeguard the interest of the company, so they just don't want any loopholes in this policy. So it just looks like uh, there will be many more meetings before a final policy emerges. Well, it seems future plans of the, uh, the power companies are going to be in limbo for some more time, till the, at least till the time the issue is resolved. That's all we have from the newsroom right now. Thank you for joining us on the show, Ruchira. Thank you. Uh, thank you once again. Stay tuned.